Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe and welcome to Shape by Faith. We shape our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. I hope you enjoy this strength and balance workout. I love the combination of strength and balance exercises to improve our strength, balance, and stabilization. You will only need a light to medium set of weights. Let's get started with the warm up. Start to move side to side. Just bring those arms out in front of you. Engage in your powerhouse, just step it. Just feel those muscles working in your legs and in your arms, upper body. Bring the arm across the chest. Just breathe through this and bring the arms up. Just a few more of these. Now let's do some squats. Just lower down in a squat. Bring the knee up. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it, right? We're gonna start off the exercise with rejoicing in the Lord, right? One more. Last one, go ahead and grab your weights. First exercise is a knee lift and a shoulder press. So go ahead and bring your weight up above the shoulder, other arm down. Knee lift up and lift and keep going. We're working on strength, on the shoulder strength here, on the legs and on balance, definitely on core. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away and the new has come. This is a new day, rejoice, be glad. This is a new season in our lives, right? God is doing some new things. Just keep moving, keep trusting him, keep breathing. Last one, okay, opposite arm and leg. Bring that opposite weight over your shoulder and start to lift and lower. Again, lift and lower. Nice stabilization on that opposite leg, staying back in the heel, and engaging your powerhouse. You know, there's a time for everything, right? There's a time for every season and activity under the heavens. God has it all planned out. He has this season planned out for you and for me. So let's go to him and ask him, Lord, show us. Show us, Father, what only you can show us. Show us those things, Lord, that we don't know yet. Because really, I don't know a whole lot until the Lord tells me, right? What about you? So we want his wisdom, his knowledge, and his direction. All right, I'm feeling that in the shoulders and in this leg. One more time. Very nice. All right, on this next one, you're gonna step out laterally in a lunge. Sit down and sit back in your hips and glutes, and then step together in hammer curl. So step out and then back in. Let's do that again. Inhale, lower, and then exhale, lift. Working on that leg, and then working on biceps. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself encourage your heart and strengthen you in every good deed and word. Now let's add a knee lift to that. Just lift up, feel that challenge, and then lower back down. You can always modify and tap it in, remember? Just tap it right in, right there. And again, and keep it moving, just out and back in. Again, working on strength and balance. All right, one more of these. Let's add a knee lift to this last one. All right, nice. Okay, opposite leg, out and in. Good. Navel to the spine, check that out. Sit back in the heels and hips and glutes. May God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ grant you grace and peace. All right, we're gonna add a knee lift to this one. You ready? Like add the knee and lower down. All right, how's that feel to your body? Let's work on balance, that's what we're working on. We're strengthening this body. And again, inhale, right there. Exhale, come up. All right, modification, tap it in. Or you can slow this down, all right? Just go at your own level, in your own pace. Feel that through your arm, feel that stretch. Come up, feel those biceps. Last one. 
All right, this next one, bring your waist out in front of you. Tap one foot back. You're going over into a deadlift. Hold right there, and then exhale, come up. Modification, place the heel down. Lower down, and then back up. But let's try and tap that toe, okay? Let's lower down and up. All right, God's word says to be hospitable to one another, all right? To be good and kind to one another. To be self-controlled and upright and holy and disciplined. So that means we probably need to hold our tongues. Many times when we want to say things that are probably not encouraging or uplifting, we want to hold our tongues and ask God to give us the words that will encourage others. All right, let's do that one more time. Inhale, lower. And then exhale, up. All right, let's switch out. All right, opposite toe goes back or foot, lower down, and then lift. You want to make sure your back and your spine are nice and straight and extend it all the way throughout this one, okay? So check on your upper back. Sit down and sit back in your hips and your glutes. Very nice. Keep those arms straight. Now God's Word tells us to carry one another's burdens, to come alongside one another and to um, be an encouragement to that person in their time of need. Because we definitely want people coming alongside of us in our time of need. So we need to do the same thing for others, right? All right, sit down and then back up. Let's do that two more times. You can really feel this, the stretch through the hips and glutes, hamstrings and up. Great job. Coming up next, we will continue working on strength and balance exercises on Shaped by Faith. On this exercise, you're gonna extend one leg out and then your opposite arm out. So let's do it at the same time. So front raise and lateral raise at the same time. Now work on that balance challenge there by tightening your core, navel to the spine. Feel that through the sides of your shoulders and all throughout your legs. My help comes from the Lord, right? Does your help come from the Lord? Whenever I uh, need his help, he's always right there, which is 24 seven. So our help comes from the Lord and we wanna keep that in mind and remember that all day long. Just go to him first, go to him first, okay? One more. Nice, okay, now on the next one, what we're gonna do is lift the front leg, bring it front, and then opposite arm, same thing. We've just switched out that arm and that leg. Again, we're working on balance challenge, so you're tightening the core to support your upper and lower body. You're lifting that leg and arm at the same time. You know, God will not let your foot slip because he watches over you. He doesn't go to sleep, he never sleeps. He's always awake and he's always watching over all of us at the same time. I don't know how he does it, but he is God and he does it. So he's not gonna let you stumble as long as you keep your eyes focused on him, right? All right, keep going. Also focus in on this exercise as God is leading you and strengthening you. All right, a few more of these and one more. All right, now on this next one, what we're gonna do is bring that leg out to the side, bring it back in and work that opposite arm. This is so good for the brain and the muscles and the core. So we're working the biceps and then those outer thigh muscles. You can also just slide that leg out there. You don't have to lift it up. So to modify, just slide it out there. Don't worry about tomorrow. How many of us are worried about tomorrow? I mean, sometimes I do, because I don't know what's gonna happen or I don't know how things are gonna turn out. But God says each day has enough trouble of its own, so don't worry. Just go to Him and let Him handle it, right? I think so many times I just try and handle things myself and try and figure things out and work things out. And then I remember, oh, that's God's job. That's not mine. 
my responsibility is to trust Him and to pray and to seek His face in everything that I do. One more. Let's switch out the arm and the leg. Again, you can tap out if you want to modify that. Make sure the navel is towards the spine, pull in. That core is so important in this exercise. The Lord will fight for you. That's what His Word says. So you need only to be still. That's hard for me to do, what about you? Again, I just wanna, a lot of times, just move in front of God and say, oh, I've got that figured out. Oh, I, I know what I need to be doing here. And again, then God, I'm reminded, Teresa, you just need to be still and let God do that. When he says to move, then you move. So I've learned to do that, but I'm still practicing that daily. All right, let's do that a few more times, lifting the leg and the arm at the same time. Very nice. Now on this one, what we're gonna do is a squat and lift the knee up and then bring the opposite arm up. So you can go narrow squat or wider squat. When you squat, sit down and sit back into your hips and glutes. The Lord says that when our foot is slipping, that His unfailing love supports us. So that when we feel like we're slipping or falling, we're going down, He is right there. He is our safety net of protection. He will help you. So again, the word is, keep your eyes focused on Christ, right? All right, so again, working on that stability and balance and strength all at the same time. How are you doing with it? Let's do that one more. All right, opposite knee and opposite arm. Again, lower down in a squat, sit down and then come up and then bring that elbow straight up. Work on that breathing, breathing from your diaphragm. When hard pressed, have you ever been hard pressed before? I cried out to the Lord and he brought me into a spacious place. That's freedom, you know? Knowing that God knows your needs as you go to him. And again, he's working them out. He always is. Let's just allow God to be God, right? All right, how does this feel in the legs? And make sure you're not putting pressure on your knees. It's breathing through this. You can take your time. Again, working on core stabilization, balance, and strength training all at the same time. One more. Very nice. Okay, this next one is an alternating knee and press. So bring one knee up, opposite arm, and just continue with that. Now, if you want it to, you can leave your weights at your shoulders or bring them down each time. Restore us, Lord. Oh God, restore us. Make your face shine upon us so that we may be saved, right? So that's our prayer today. Lord, restore us. Shine your face upon us so that we will be saved. Again, working that upper and lower body, working on balance and stabilization and core strength. It all goes together. All right, keep going. Lift and lower. All right, one more each. We're almost there. Last one, good job. So coming up next, we will continue strengthening our spirit, mind, and body on Shaped by Faith.
bring your weights up towards your hips. You're going to kick them back and work the back of the arms, your triceps. Now what we're going to do is bring one leg back, just brush it back. You can lift it up or you can tap it. Let's do this at the same time. Just lift back and kick back all at the same time. He gives strength to the weary, right? And he increases the power of the weak. How many times have you noticed you just don't have it, either emotionally, physically, or spiritually, and you go to the Lord and you say, Lord, please take me over. I do that many times. And then you notice throughout the day that you have that supernatural strength that comes from the Lord. And you're so grateful. Like at the end of the day, you're like, thank you, Lord, for your strength. Let's do that one more time. Okay, opposite leg, exact same thing. Go ahead, kick back those weights and step back that leg or brush it back. I am the Lord, your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. I mean, that's the word of the Lord. He's saying, don't be afraid. I'm going to help you with that. I'm gonna help you out. You just keep looking towards me. Keep seeking my face. All right, how's your balance on this one? As you brush that leg back, engaging those core muscles, shoulders stay down. They like to pop up a little bit on this one. Just keep them down. So we should be feeling this in the upper arms, in the triceps, and in that leg, and glutes and hips. Let's do that one more time. All right, very nice. Okay, what we're gonna do on this one is place one weight down and hold on to one weight. So we're gonna bring it up and back behind the head. We're gonna lift and lower. Just tricep extension as you lift that knee up, working on more balance here. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. That's something that I think about every single day. Trust in the Lord. Don't lean on your own understanding or what you can see. Just trust Him. Trust is a big deal, right? All right, so how are you feeling as you're lifting that knee up? You're extending those arms way up over the head. We're keeping our elbows close to the head for this tricep exercise. All right, keep it moving. One more. Let's rest the arms a few seconds. Exact same thing, but on the opposite leg. So bring the weight up and back behind you. Engage your powerhouse and lift and lower both at the same time. You know, God is the strength of our heart. He really is. When you trust Him, when you ask Him in your life, He's your strength and He's your portion. He's the one that satisfies your soul. The world really doesn't, God does. Just knowing that he's with you, watching over you and protecting you. All right, keep lifting and lowering and feel that extension through your torso and your spine as you're working on your triceps. You're working on that opposite leg. Inhale, down and exhale, lift. All right, let's do two more of these. Do them with nice control and one more. Now on this one, what we're gonna do is bring the leg front. We're gonna pass the weight just from hand to hand and bring it out. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so lift that one leg and pass that weight. There you go, you've got it. Working on balance, working on strength through that lower body. And this is a nice modified shoulder exercise that you can do as well. I've learned to be content, whatever the circumstances. The Apostle Paul wrote that. He was in prison when he wrote that. And he learned to be content in the Lord, not in his circumstances where he was, or the people around him even. He learned to be content because God was with him. All right, let's do that a few more times. Just back and forth. One more. Nice, okay, opposite leg, same thing. You ready? Lift and lower. Balance on that opposite leg. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, 
you can do nothing. And I can testify to that. Apart from Christ, I can do nothing. But with Him, I can do all things as He grants me a strength. And His wisdom and knowledge, discernment and understanding, how to pray, how to pray for other people. You know, sometimes when someone asks me to pray for them, I don't know how to pray, but the good news is the Holy Spirit does. <laughs> so I just ask Him to take me over, and I trust, and I just let Him lead me. So we can do that in every area of our life, right? One more. All right, nice. This set, let's go ahead and pick up both weights. What we're going to do is hammer curls, but we're going to cross one leg over and then switch out to our other. Commit your ways to the Lord. Trust in Him, and He will act. All right, so commit what you're doing to the Lord. Commit it to Him. Lord, I commit this activity to You. I ask that You would help me, Father, to do the best that I can do. And even when we're exercising, just commit this time to God. Rely upon His strength to strengthen your body, your spirit, and your mind, and your heart. All right, feel that crossover, that challenge, those biceps, feel that. And again, lift and lower. All right, a few more times, we're almost there. Feel that core kicking in. Strengthening the upper and the lower body. One more. Nice work. So coming up next, more inspiration on Shape by Faith. Go ahead and step front, and at the same time, bring your arm out and then step back together. So it's a front lunge and a lateral raise. Trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord your God is an everlasting rock. Just trust in Him. You know, once I became a Christian, I really did not look back. I didn't even consider not trusting God. I mean, I just trust Him for anything and everything. And you know, and He's teaching me something new every single day. And He shows me something new every single day as I ask Him and I look to Him. Keep going. So as you step, stay back in the heel, all right, so you don't put pressure on that knee. And let's do that one more time. Step and extend the arm. All right, now we're going to switch out the legs. Exact same thing, opposite arm and leg. Front lunge and then step back. You know, it's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in people. I mean, we're supposed to love people, right? But really... We're supposed to put our complete trust in God, in Him alone. He never disappoints us. He never lets us down. He always strengthens us. All right, so again, just a reminder, as you're landing, land in the heel, and then power back out of that heel. Feeling this definitely in the leg and in that side shoulder, and you're moving it, and that powerhouse is helping you all the way through. Land softly on that foot, and last one. All right, this next one, what we're gonna do is bring one arm out and cross over. Just feel that challenge as you're crossing over. The Lord himself goes before you. He will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. You know, whatever you have going on in your life right now, Let's just say you're going to meet someone. God's already been there. He's already prepared the conversation. So you pray in advance and you say, Lord, please help me as I walk into that place. Please help me carry your presence in there so that my words would bring you glory and honor. All right, feel that rotation through the waist and feel that arm coming across that body. The opposite leg is just doing a nice balance exercise for you as it's being strengthened. Last one. All right, same thing on the opposite leg. So bring it out and then cross over. Let's do that again. If you need to lower the arm down, just go ahead and lower it. The Lord is near. 
He is so near to all who call on Him. He really is. Have you tried it? Have you tried calling on the name of the Lord? And just listen. Let Him in your heart today. He will help you. He will strengthen you. And He will transform you from the inside out. Again, feeling this through the waist and also through that arm. And I'm feeling the challenge in the opposite leg. It's just standing in position for me, real strong. Just call upon the name of the Lord and He will be right there. He's already right there with you. One more. Nice, okay. Now we're gonna reverse lunge on this one. So what we're gonna do is step back, opposite arm, it's gonna row and then step back together, all right? So step back and then row that opposite arm up and lower down. You know, in this world, the Lord says that we will have trouble, but his word also says take heart because he's overcome the world. You know, let's live in victory. Let's not live as a victim. Let's live in victory. The Lord has overcome the world. All right, bring that elbow up. As you step back, place that toe box down. Be real mindful of the knee, not to um, stress it at all. And keeping your navel to your spine. All right, let's do that one more time. Just step back and row and together. All right, opposite leg, same thing, and opposite arm. Reverse lunge, and then row your arm. Let's do that again. You know, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. You can find that in the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 13. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Maybe there's someone out there today, and you're exercising with me. Maybe God has spoken to your heart through this program, and I praise God for that. And I pray that you would call upon the name of the Lord today. Don't wait. Call upon His name today. All right, keep going. I'm praying for you. I know God is right there for you. He sees what you're going through. One more. Very nice job. Thank you so much for allowing me in your home today. I hope you're motivated to continue preparing yourself to be the very best you can be as we continue exercising and praising God together. He will bless our bodies and our hearts for His purposes. It is God who made us and He breathed His Spirit in us so that we can encourage others to live for Him. Until next time, friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you safe, healthy, and strong in your spirit, mind, and body. Tune in next time as we continue shaping bodies and hearts for God's purposes with Teresa Rowe as we all become shaped by faith.